Hello, good evening, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. We are happy, thrilled to be back with you for season four of our vampire story. And tonight we are bringing you season four, episode one, More Than Human. Let's start by meeting our vampires. Hi, I am Faye Mata, and I am playing Kyoko. <laughs> I'm back, suckers! <laughs> I'm Erica Ishii, and I am playing Annabelle, the Bruja. I'm Mika Burton, and I'm playing Delilah, the Thin Blood. Special guests may join us at dramatically appropriate moments. I want to remind everyone in the family that we're very grateful for you for your support, for your love, for your fan art, for your fan fiction. It means everything to us that you enjoy our story and share it with us. We can't do this without you, and we can't do it without the help of some very other important people in our coterie. Uh, we want to thank, first off, Backblaze, the only digital cloud backup used both by kindred and mortals. You can use it to restore all your data in a number of convenient ways. It's a great tool for small, anarch-sized startup businesses and for huge, venture-sized enterprise businesses as well. And it will help you generally in picking up the pieces in case the second inquisition takes down your database. With Backblaze, you get simple, unlimited online backups, no gimmicks, at $6 a month for Macs and PCs, movies, music, videos, that LA by night fan art that we talked about, everything gets backed up safely by default. You recover all your data from the web and you get mobile apps for getting your files on the go. And it is the simplest way to protect precious data in your haven. Now Backblaze has been a sponsor of LA by night for three seasons and has been very important in keeping our vampires on the air. So check them out at backblaze.com slash LA by night and get a 15 day free trial or 15 nights if you're one of the kindred. As a freshly independent broadcaster, your support of our sponsors is more important than ever, which brings up an important question that I know the family is asking. Will we see Yev this season? The answer is yes, we will. The other major sponsor that we've bloodbound for season four is Level Up Dice. And they are the only place you can get officially licensed premium metal Vampire the Masquerade dice for your home chronicles. They've got dice sets for all the clans, the factions, even the Thin Bloods. Uh, our cast uses them, uh, I use them, and if you want your own, you can get them at levelup.net. We have some great dice photography during the break if you want to get a close-up look at these beautiful D10s. Again, as we are our own network this season, our sponsors are an important part of making this happen. Backblaze and Level Up Dice are members of the Coterie, working together for mutual success against the forces of darkness. So help them, help us, and help yourself to some sweet vampire gear. Now let's set our scene. It's January, several months after the confrontation in the labyrinth. Strauss is evidently as good as his word. The truce with the Camarilla seems to be holding for now. Both the Camarilla court and the Anarch barons have somehow successfully discouraged both sides from trying to provoke a reaction that could shatter the peace. There's no formal contact right now between the Camarilla and the Anarchs. The common wisdom among the Barons is that the Camarilla is trying to take the long view, wait the Anarchs out. If they just are patient long enough, surely those youngsters, those upstarts, will make a mistake. But the veil of secrecy around Prince Vannevar's court is so tight right now that nobody in the Anarch faction really knows anything about it. If any Anarch truly knows what's happening in the tower tonight, they're not sharing. The Camarilla is still out there. The Inquisition is still out there. 
still dangerous. But tonight, these dangers seem just a little bit less immediate. Not even immortals can maintain total constant vigilance at all times in the absence of direct threats. So the kindred of our coterie have had the luxury of pursuing their personal ambitions and projects for a little while, rather than having to focus on pure survival or desperate politics. And in this rare time of calm, what are they learning about their situation and themselves? Some kindred believe that their existence is too good to waste on eternity. You live, you die, you live again, exploding into the night as a newly created vampire, seeking to hide among the mortals who were once your friends and family. You learn to hunt, you learn to lie, and you learn to experience the thrill of undead existence. And you want to participate in everything that the night can offer you. The danger, the excitement, and the chance to know all that can be known in a hundred lifetimes. Maybe, maybe you even want to belong. With all this firmly in mind, Let's now tell a vampire story. Griffith College, where it all started for Annabelle, where she met the unusual collection of kindred who would become her surrogate, if undead, family and her friends. Griffith is in the eastern end of the Hollywood neighborhood. It's financially secure. It's a beautiful campus, all glass and steel, beautifully manicured grounds. This part of town used to be an old movie studio, so they say, but they say that about everything in Hollywood, don't they? Who knows if it's true? This is where the Coterie confronted Sour Sugar, a musical duo formed by a couple of Thin Bloods who performed in the quad at night as a convenient way to sell their supernaturally addicting drugs that they brewed up in their haven. It was a desperate, difficult night, but one that brought new revelations and opportunities for growth. And since then, Annabelle, you've experienced an extraordinary amount. The last year or so for you has been the most unusual of your entire existence but it hasn't had a lot of opportunity for fun. So when you received a message from Kyoko asking to meet you out on Griffith, it seemed like an opportunity to do something a little different, maybe. So we open our scene, Griffith College, in the sanctum 
or Annabelle has allowed Kyoko enter the sanctuary of the Koiri. Kyoko, it's a boardroom. You can call it a sanctuary, a sanctum, whatever you like, but it's a boardroom. It's just a very secure, well-hidden boardroom. And that's where you find Annabelle. Annabelle, hey. So, it's been a while, it's been and here we are. A very long time. Um, yeah, it's good to see you. You're gonna go out or something, right? Definitely, I definitely wanna go out. All right. I'm always, I'm always just like kind of cooped up. <laughs> My sisters never let me out. I, I want to have fun. Oh man, I gotta have fun. I feel like we lived at a club for what felt like months on end and they still didn't have a time to actually have fun and go out. And I feel like I didn't really do that much when I was alive, but you know, I feel like we need this. Definitely. And I never really got to know you. What do you want to know? Well, <laughs> everything has just been utter chaos until recent times, so. Anything, okay. I just, um... I just, maybe, maybe you have similar experiences to me. It's a weird thing because we're, everybody in this world is all completely different and have their own games and plans and schemes, but we're all tied together by the fact that we got turned. But yeah. everybody has such a completely different way of it. I, mine sucked um, a lot. You turned recently, right? Yeah. It's, it's been about a year and a half now. Wow. Um, well, you've, you seem to have done a lot more than I have. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I was embraced three years ago. Oh. Yeah, but. You're older than me, like. But all these stories I hear about you and the things you've done, I haven't done anything close to that. Yeah, man, I get around. Uh, it's so cool. But like you had a whole escape from San Diego and what were you doing before then? Um, well, in life, I, I guess I was kind of a prodigy in my school. What school? I was a total nerd in the, in the Midwest. But uh, I had a lot of, I don't know, there were a lot of expectations of me, I guess. Um, school was really boring. Uh, Uh, I just... I would, I, I was the, the kind of person who would just, uh, I mean, score really well on tests, but I'd be just totally bored of everything that okay. you taught to me. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can, okay, no, you're, you're a millennial too. Um, would you say that you're a Ravenclaw that wants to be a Gryffindor maybe then? You know, that's probably accurate. I'm sorry. I, I would just say I'm a Gryffindor, but maybe, I guess, oh. if you want to call me smart and stuff, sure. But. Sorry, I have to parcel out of stuff in sort of pop culture. It's the touchstones yeah. that help. No, I totally make this... get it. I totally get it. Okay, <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm a Gryffindor, by the way. Uh, I don't know. So, school and. Pressure and yeah. I mean I I get it. I was a student before this. Me too. Um, do do you also have student debt and does that go away now that we're dead? <laughs> you know, um, no, I actually haven't even looked my family in the eye in so long. I don't think they even know what. Well, they definitely oh. don't know. <laughs> They what? probably just think I'm dead and gone, but I did run away. What happened with your family? Why haven't you, did you well, try to? I have a kind of, I had 
kind of like a Asian tiger mom, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But you ever just, I don't know, you, you try to reason with someone and it kind of just, it, it's like you hit a wall and no matter what logical argument you you make, it's never good enough and, and, and it just kind of stresses you out. Yes, so all the time. You know the people I hang out with. It happens <laughs> all the time, literally, but. Well, I kind of just wanted to leave that. And, <laughs> and then I was embraced and I was controlled more than ever before. <laughs> Did you choose this? No. Oh. Uh, I learn things really fast. I think uh, the Camarilla had great interest in that. But I ran away to San Diego. That's where I found my sisters. And uh, I just, yeah, I thought I could get away. And I thought I could get away and just kind of live on life how I wanted to. But they're there too. They're just everywhere. They were. The Camarilla? Yeah. And they're very controlling. So, um, just to be safe, my, my sisters would keep me from living my wildest dreams. <laughs> you don't have to live like that anymore. Yeah. You're okay. under the protection of the great uh, Baron, you know, and... Yeah, Victor well, Temple. There's the, the truce right now. There's a truce, and I mean, you're killing it. You're so powerful, and you're. If I'm running around doing all the stuff that I'm doing, and I'm like a year and a half younger than you, I, I think maybe we could learn a lot from each other. Yeah. Can can you teach me to do the the fire stuff? Is that I don't know if that's it. I've never tried to do that, but mm. oh, interesting. I don't know if I could do that. Do you? Have you ever done anything? I magical? have not. I am not magical, really per se. Um, but I'm kind of learning all it's of this as Tremere we go. Definitely Tremere stuff. Yeah, Tremere stuff. Okay. I'm sorry that you don't feel like you're free. I'm trying to help build a world in which everybody does have control of their own destiny. No, I heard all about that and I really admire you for it. Oh. Uh, I think thank it's you. So cool. I mean, even with this truce, it's I'm on it's unsettling. But everyone's always so serious all the time. I kind of just I want right. to go out. Let's so go I'm out. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean okay, to be a downer. No, it's okay. No, but no, I, no. I do really I want to learn more about you. And maybe that'll just happen over time. Awesome. Let's just, well, let's let's just kick it. Where, did you, where do you want to do? Um, well. We um, could hit a bar and not drink. We could. How about a club? A lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's it's dark. Yeah. People won't know. Yeah. People won't know. Also, I kind of there's something on the back of my mind. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. I do. I do want to go out. I really do. Okay. But you know the whole like unsettling feeling I have, and and remember what I said about how. Sometimes you're like trying to reason with people and you're like talking to a wall and I kind of feel like I'm trapped sometimes. There was someone I met in San Diego who was actually really cool. And, and uh, he gave me this recipe. Um, and I want to find him. recipe? Sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. But he's, it's a, he's a thin blood. Oh. And I kind of want to find 
cool. The Thin Bloods. Yeah. And I, I heard that they might be at this club. That's great. I've been wanting to talk to the Thin Bloods because, you know, I heard that they sometimes also feel like they're being controlled and I want to see what they want. Yeah. I heard about someone named Delilah. Um, Full name. Yeah. And... Who's that? She, she has some some involvement with the Thin Bloods, and I just wonder if my friend might be with her. Great! So we're going clubbing with the Thin Bloods, is what you're telling me. Uh, that's what I'd hope for. Awesome! I'm in. Let's go. All right. All right. Yeah, uh, let's do it. Annabelle, are you telling anybody where you're going? Keep that to yourself for now. That's fine. Like, your sisters know where you are and stuff, right? Actually, they don't. Uh, I just... I mean, they know I'm clearly not there, but... That's good enough for me! Let's go! <laughs> Nobody knows! Second question. You are wearing the jacket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Um... Mm -hmm. I have like, it's, it's like rinsed off, but it's all warded to hell. So, you know, we're, yeah. yeah, it's a, uh, it's got, it's got a lot of wards on it, but it's clean. Duly noted. Mm. Wards. It's clean. You have wards on your jacket. Yes. Yeah. It's a. Uh, you know, That's sick. I don't have wards on my jacket. You really should. Do. You can do that. You can ward your own jacket. How do I do that? Do you know how to do that? Can you teach me? I don't know Tremere shit. Oh, you mean ward it with Tremere stuff? Yeah. Mm. This seems like a. This seems like an Ava question. We should. We should have her do our wardrobe. I'd love to do that. Yeah. Be good. Same question for Kyoko. I'm presuming you're not going to contact anyone and let them know where you're going or what you're up to. I'm trying to have a night out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Excellent. Do, uh, uh, mm. uh -huh. Do you think that by any chance we'll need any sort of preparations for this? Hmm. Um, do, 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 if, you, if you catch, catch my drift and stuff. What, what do you, what do you I mean, like, do I need to bring weapons or anything? Oh, I hope not. Okay. But I don't know, what, what, what would you usually do? Uh, yeah, a lot of times I'll just have like a, a, a steak or a, or a gun did on they, me. Do they check for that stuff? At yeah, the usually, usually it's pretty hard, but Victor can kind of hand wave that stuff. Oh. I'm not, you know. Uh, you know, I, I might just, just bring a steak with me, just in case. Just in case, why just not? Just in case. Yeah. Okay. But I got your back too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Got the fires and stuff. Yeah, fires yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Great Tremere shit. Great. Wooden steak, fires mm -hmm. and stuff, and no one knows where you're going. Mm-hmm. How you want to get there? Ride share? Oh. Or drive yourself? I mean, I'm not going to drink. I don't know. Yeah, we're not drinking. I'm not drinking. You can take my car. It's kind of messy. Oh, you have a car? Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Okay. We take the Civic. You're going to take the Civic. Hopping in the All Civic. All right. Two vampires out for a night on the town in Los Angeles in a Civic. Sounds like a graphic novel, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. So, let us move the scene then. Kyoko. Yes. Knows where to go. We're headed for the neighborhood of Van Nuys. The neighborhood you're going to is in the valley, so you are still in Baron Victor Temple's territory. And this part of Van Nuys has seen better days and better nights. It's mostly old storehouses, old shops ranging in age from more than a century to less than a decade. Some have been renovated into housing. The street lights mostly work. And it's here that we find the deep. Now the deep is built into the shell of an old bank. It's 
pretty cool. Rumor has it that the bank vault is still intact in the basement and they've done interesting things to it. It's three stories and two dance floors of coolness. It doesn't so much have a theme as it has a palette that suggests something vaguely about the ocean with different shades of blue and a very interesting energy to it. You can hear the music from the outside and you are by no means the only club goers who are making their way excitedly toward the entrance, queuing up to get in. Outside, of course, bouncers wearing deep cobalt blue t-shirts with the club logo on the front. Very different from Victor Temple's Maharani. A little less bling. You wait in line or do you? Watch this. Okay, come okay. with me, come with me. Um, I throw up awe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Activate Yeah, I can do that Activate too. Activate Oh, golly, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, from inside yourself, you reach into that deep place where the vitae allows you to become more charismatic, more appealing, and the center of attention. Heads turn in the line as you walk by. People whisper, hey, hey, I know her. Hey, baby B. Hey. The whisper goes through the line. Baby B is here. Somebody shouts out, hey, is, is Victor Temple with you? Uh, no, this is girls' night. A lot of phones come up and start. Oh, no. Pictures. <laughs> maybe some video. <laughs> Yo, baby B, over here. Hey. It's okay. Come right up too. Yeah, I think we're good, right? It's fine. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Who knows what everybody else is doing? Whatever. Half a dozen college students out for a cool night on the town try to surround you, get their cameras in your face, take selfies with you, generally oh my. make a nuisance of themselves. And they're very curious about who you are. The questions come rapid fire nonstop. Who are you? Are you together? Do you know Baby B? Do you know Victor <laughs> Temple? Can you get me into the Maharani? I mean, I've always wanted to go to the Maharani. Are you dancing here tonight? Are you guys coming in to dance hey, with hey, us? Hey, 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 hey. We're we just here to relax right now. We're chilling. Thanks for everything. What? We're chilling. Yeah, we're just chilling tonight. So no questions. Um, and uh, have a great night, everybody. Bye. They look a little disappointed, but um, at the promise that they might see you on the inside, they let you go. So we go up to the front. Go up to the front. Uh, the bouncer is, um, he's built a little bit like uh, Campbell, big. Solid, strong, confident, uh, but he's uh, he's seen some he's seen some action in his days. One of his uh, ears is a little big and misshapen. Maybe he's you know maybe he's a fighter. You're not sure. Hey, what's all that commotion? Hey, um, so my friend and I should be on the list. List? Yes. You on you on Miss D's list? I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe. Definitely. Okay. Let me see your IDs and we'll give it a check. You want to try to persuade him that uh, um, you should be on the list, even if you're not? Our IDs? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is Baby B and Special K, so. Baby B and Special K? <laughs> I don't know. Well, who are you with? Uh, that person over there. Hey, 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 hey. It's me, Special K. And baby B? Hey, Kay, what's up? See? We haven't seen see? you since that thing that we saw you at. See? He doesn't know what you're talking about, but he seems ready to help. Hang on just a sec. Pulls out a cell phone, and this is when Delilah gets a text. Miss D, got a couple of cold ones at the door. Let him in. KK. 
Hey, you're right, you're on the list, sorry. Totally my mistake, I just didn't, I didn't, K, B, C, D. It's okay. I had a guy named totally X here not too long ago and that was weird. Oh, what, um, really? So I get confused with all these initials. Yeah. Sorry no. about that, I'm Blake. How you nice doing? to meet you, Blake. Awesome, uh, my relief is coming in just a moment. I'll escort you in. Great. Yeah, Thanks. absolutely. Uh, that, is that guy actually with you? Nah. Nah, you want him, you want him in or not? Nah. Nah? Not no. so much? Okay. You got this covered. No problem. Mm. There's a collective groan from the people at the front of the line as they see you get in before they do. But, you know, these things happen in L.A. This is how it works. And in a few moments, you are whisked inside in Blake's company. So... Oh, that all gives me a lot of anxiety still. Yeah, same. That was terrible. Okay. But here we are. Here yeah. you are, yeah. inside. More of those college students out for a night in the town. You know, there's that guy trying too hard to uh, get somebody's number who doesn't see the bouncer looming over his shoulder behind him. There's tastemakers and influencers arguing about the authenticity of the music. Uh, somewhere between their near constant selfies. Uh, there are people who are admiring the uh, interior of the bank and it's pretty impressive what somebody has done with this place. They've, uh, they've left the old teller's cages as part of the bar, which is kind of cool. Nice. But the, uh, the oceanic theme is stronger on the inside. Got multi-layered blue hues. And on the far wall flanking those bartender cages, two enormous glass-fronted fish tanks cast a calm, peaceful aqua glow over everything, and they're filled with beautiful tropical fish. Absolutely breathtaking and kind of cool. Fish seem to like the music. Whoa, this is the vibe right here. Yeah. There are a series of semi-private booths around the external side of this dance floor, and each one of them is mostly protected by uh, what looks like uh, authentic fishing net. And you can see through the nets that each of these little booths has their own little fish tank. You don't, did that? Did All right, that? so here we are. Welcome to the deep. Can we get you something from the bar? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Uh, is Miss D around? Miss D. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah she's here. Misty, you get a text. They want to see you. Pretty sure one is Baby B, works for the Baron. Meet me at booth number five, I'll see you there. Number five, KK. I'm hoping. Come with me. Great. Right. See you. Are you, uh, are you friends, acquaintances? You in the biz? Uh. Mutual acquaintances. Yeah. Mutual acquaintances. Mm -hmm. First time though here. Yeah, yeah, this is rad. Oh, almost forgot, almost forgot. Let me have your wrists. He pulls out a little cylinder, an ink stamp. Oh, mm. um, cool, okay. Gotta stamp you. All right, okay. Um, okay. Uh, I, sure, I quick. hold it out. <laughs> sure. But if he moves to take the wrist, I'll. I'll You'll react? Hold yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just an ink stamp, fortunately. Okay. He stamps you both. It's a little blue shark. Oh, I pull it back. Yeah. Right this way. All right. He leads you across the dance floor. You're recognized here, too. People stop, try to dance with you, try to get your attention, try to get a selfie. We dance our way across. Well, I dance my yeah. way across. Yeah, we're shimmying yeah. across. Mm -hmm. Blake makes sure that you get there without any problem. Parts the fishing net curtain, and inside the booth with its beautiful fish tank is Delilah. Hey there. Hello. And what brings you guys to the deep? Are you Delilah? They call Delilah. I am. And which one of you knows Daddy Victor? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, well, we both do. 
she said daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you think we're going to call him Baron? <laughs> oh, um, look, uh, miss, ma'am. Uh, Delilah's fine. As, okay, Delilah. Uh, I, as a representative of the Valley Coterie, I have to assure you that Victor Temple is owed the respect of a Baron of his stature. But also, yeah, um, but also, <laughs> you wanna call him Daddy? Yeah, this is pretty funny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm Annabelle. Nice I'm to Kyoko. Meet you. Nice to meet you. And once again, what brings you here? Shall I excuse myself, Misty? Just wait just outside. You got it. Turns his back to you on the other side of the curtain and sort of blocks the dance floor from you. He's hard to see through. Hmm. Have you been expecting anyone? No, I just like to, you know, keep myself protected. Thus Blake. He's big as a house, right? So since you know about Victor's title and everything, I assume that you're connected in with the politics. No, not really. I'm kind of new to all of this. Oh. Yeah, I know I'm putting up kind of a front, right? Yeah, I, no, that's really, like, yeah. I, like with the fish, the announcer, and the list, that Listen, was so impressive. I know, I, it, I'm just trying to keep out people that really are screwing with me. I, I'm really new to all of this. This is, I own this club, but this is kind of my only safe place. I, are you, I mean, obviously you guys are, Y yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You are the one then. The one what? The one what? The leader? Yeah. Sure, they call me a leader, I guess. I didn't really pick this. I just kind of was the only one to step up. This has all kind of been overwhelming, you know? Uh, what can I do for you? Are you, are you the leader of the Thin Bloods? Yeah. Or I'm, um, what do you prefer, do you prefer to be called? I guess I'm a leader. I, really, this is. And is like Thin Bloods okay? I don't know, I think. Wow, okay, we're. We're really. We found each other though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a we are a bunch of noobs. We're, we're a bunch of noobs together. Are you new too? Out. Yeah. Oh. I've been three turned for here. a year and a half. She's three years. Less than a year. And you are the de facto leader of the Thin Bloods. I think it's because I can go outside in the daytime and they're just kind of, wait, wait. You're so lucky. It's really cool. How many you, of you are there? I don't know, honestly. We you can go out during the day. You I did yoga this morning <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> it was awesome. Yoga sounds Really nice. Yoga's real. I mean, we can. It's not the same at night, but oh, you know, on yoga beach. on the beach while the sun is rising. It's kind of nice. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah. Real good. So I guess that's kind of why I'm a leader. That's a. Is that uh, can other? Sorry. Oh. Hang on, it's just. I'm sorry. No, it's just a. You okay? Yeah. It's it's just it's been a year and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't. I'm never. Yeah. I'm never gonna see another. Sunrise on the beach. Um, sorry. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. Like, that's incredible. Yeah. Dude, I'd follow you into hell. So it makes sense. But, I, so here I am. Welcome to my club. I tried finding you guys in LA. There wasn't a single one that I could find. Well, no shit. What? Why? Who wants to parade themselves around as a barely a vampire? Like, come on, I didn't choose this. And I got turned into a half vampire. Like, what the fuck? Couldn't get full vampire? Like, I mean, but you can, you can see the sun. You can go outside. But like, I'm still you can dead. Live a life. Well, but what, what, like, uh, what? So do you need to drink blood? Yes. So you need to drink blood. Yes. But you still have human things. Can you eat? Can you eat no, food? No, can't eat food. I could do yoga, but I can't have a shake. Um, I, I mean, That's in some so ways, it's kind of the best of both worlds. Like, do you get other than superpowers, or I kind of you mix these cool potions and you know, but uh, 
I don't know. Uh, alchemy. That, that's yeah, that yes. alchemy. What about right? it? I don't, that's it's what. Not yeah, a thing that I can. Do. I, I met Thin Bloods in that. San Diego, and oh. I lost contact with a friend. Um, actually, I have something that belongs to him, and I was hoping maybe I could, maybe I'd find him again. So, but. <laughs> It's a recipe that belongs to the Thin Bloods. I want to return it. Uh, well, you've come to the right person. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Cool. Uh, we are definitely going to keep in contact about all of this. Victor says that there's some prophecy. Some prophecy uh, about. I'm sorry, prophecy? What uh, is this? Some fucking Harry Potter ass shit? <laughs> <laughs> you are wait, so what are you? Oh, like what house am I? Yeah. I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> oh my god! I found my people! Do you guys like Harry Potter too? You have <laughs> no idea how long I've been waiting to talk to people like you. This has been a good night already. This is a winner of a night. Yeah, I'm a Gryffindor. Awesome. Is, I guess I'm a Ravenclaw, eh, but I like to think I'm a Gryffindor. You're a smarty, but you want <laughs> you can, What about event. a Gryffindor? We can mix Gryffindor, with the two. Gryffindor, why all not? Right, all right, now we just need a I Hufflepuff like in our crew, and then we have a, a full Harry Potter. Oh my God, it's like being in a foreign country for a year and a half, and nobody speaks your language. Do other vampires not watch Harry Potter? I'm confused. I guess because they're all old, so. Oh. Oh, you hang out with like, like vampire vampires. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I mean, I have two sisters, or basically like both parents. <laughs> and uh, they're very restricting, but I kind of miss parts of humanity. Well, you guys are really welcome in the club whenever you want. Should I put them on the list, Thanks. Misty? Please do. You're on the list. <laughs> Now you guys don't list. have to pretend you're on the list. You're actually on the list. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a safe place here. There's thin bloods, there's full-fledged vampires, there's humans. So every, a lot of the folks out in the club? Yeah. Wow. Really? It's just a chill place. You guys are welcome. You're safe. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I know that you said you're relatively new to this, but uh, there's so much politics to catch you up on. Long story short, there's a truce between the old fuddy-duddies and the new punks. Yes. And those ones, the, the old ones. Camarilla. They don't like me, that's all I know. Uh, they don't like a lot of things. They have oh. a lot of rules. A lot. And um, I'm not a fan. We're working to change that. And you know, we can, we, we can make fun of uh, Daddy Temple all we want, but he's got our back in this fight. Well, look. I don't know about fighting. I'm not super powered or anything, but I all I want is Thin Bloods to not be a subservient class of vampires. Like I don't get it. I don't. I don't know. I don't understand. So anything I can do to help the cause. What you got I, us behind you, I guess. Because apparently I'm a leader now. I mean, I feel like you guys are full fledged members of the group. I don't understand why you wouldn't. Be. I don't understand I, either, trust me. I feel ya, I'm in hiding too. Yes, this is the first time I feel like I've talked to somebody who also understands what I'm going through that isn't an asshole. I honestly cannot wrap my mind around it. I, I don't know, as I said, there's like a prophecy or something that it's like, the, when thin bloods happen, it's the end of days or something, but Excuse like- Excuse me? I don't know, do you remember that time in 2012 when the world was supposed to end and then it didn't because I, uh, it feels like that to me. The, I don't know, I don't buy it. What do we have to do with that? I don't know. Oh God. I, I honestly do not know, but yeah, uh, we have your back. I can 110% promise you that. The valley is. I think we just take it a step at a time. Yeah. Well, sure. how do you take it's it a step a at a time when 
a whole group of vampires are like, oh, you're gonna bring the end of days, so time for you to fucking die. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? <sighs> Misty, there's uh, something going on out back. Excuse me? All right. Uh, I'll go check it out. Yeah. I'll send, I'll send the team. Thanks. I'll be right back. No you, worries. You good? Yeah, just keep me in the loop. Yeah, yeah. Let a us team? Know. You need anything? Yeah. Uh, can you? Uh, it's probably some guys trying to get in on a fake ID. It happens all the time. Mm. Well, who does that? I'll okay. let you know what's going on. Mm. All right, thank you. It's all right. <laughs> we got a good security team here. Good. Yeah. Sorry pretty busy. about that, um, by the way. No, it's. <sighs> Blake knew exactly what was going on the moment you guys walked up. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, we kind of got that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Figured. So now that Blake has excused himself to deal with whatever's going on out back, you have a full view of the dance floor again through the fishing net curtains. I think you've probably got a DJ on most nights, yeah? Absolutely. Okay. DJ's got them all moving, moving and grooving on the floor. Everybody's into it. This is some cool new witch house stuff that nobody's heard before, something fresh. It's uh, kind of cool to be out, finally, out of the town. And that, Annabelle, is when you see him cruising through the crowd like a shark. Carver. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, it's me. Vibe. What? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> are, you, are you good? Um, I try to see what she's looking at. Have. Do you point him out? A situation on her hands. Uh, <laughs> mm. <sighs> What's up? Do you need me to call, call over another bouncer? No. Mm. Find out. Still got that what stick. he wants? Okay. There. Yeah. Mm, huh. My uh, sire is here. Oh shit! Here. You know yours? Yeah. Yeah. It is this red? Do you need me to call somebody? Like I don't know. You might want to have people on hand. I. He is not to be trusted. I. Where is he? One of the hair. Can I like snap my fingers at nearby security and kind of? Oh yeah. Blake is still out back, but two more members of the security team are there in a moment. Just, just be cool. But what's up, Misty? Gonna... What you got? Wait. Uh, we may have a situation on our hands if you don't mind. Cool. Standing by. Don't just don't cause a scene, but. <sighs> If I snap my fingers, be ready. Wait, that, that guy? Yeah. The, the guy with the hair. The jacket guy, yeah. I know that guy. That's your sire? I'm sorry, what? I mean, I don't, I don't know know him, but back in San Diego, I, I ran into him. He was actually looking for thin bloods. Oh shit, I, me. I didn't help him out because he seemed like an asshole. Oh, that can't be good then. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a real piece of work. When I saw him last, he had an interest in the Thin Bloods, like in alchemy, in a murdery type of way. Uh, not no, actually no, no, actually. Uh, but in a I don't trust him sort of way because everything out of his mouth is lies sort of a way. So like, but he just seemed really shady. Like in a Voldemort shady type of way, if we're gonna go back to this. Uh, more in like a, like a, I don't know. There's nobody quite gaslighting in the Harry Potter universe for this oh, to, fuck. analogy to work. Okay. But you know what? He's effective. Carver is uh, <sighs> moving through the crowd, across the floor. In your general direction, although he doesn't seem to have spotted you, maybe the maybe the curtains are interfering with his line of sight, or maybe he's just too cool to admit he's seen you. I don't want to 
dart anything out on your dance floor, but... It might not be safe. Should I have him removed, or will that cause a scene? I say we bring him up here and find out what he wants. Turns his back to you, surveying the big room as though he's looking for something, somebody. And it's at that point when you see his jacket. The back of his jacket is an upside down A in oh. red with a circle. Really? Khaki. Then, there are two names written on the back of the jacket. His name and your name. Oh, wow. What a piece of shit. Ah. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, bring him up here and uh, we, we find out what he wants. Um. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's three of us. What? And more. What did he, what? I actually just, I didn't interact with him. I just oh. watched as this do? asshole barged Should we in. kick his ass? Don't kick his ass, just bring him here. One of you stay, one of you go. Okay, you got yeah, it. Just be careful, like, he's. Yeah? Yeah, be careful. Just invite him up. And please, no bloodshed on my dance floor. We just had it waxed. We got, I, I, got, I got this, I got this. I can do it. I can totally do it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all just right. I had all met right. Thin Bloods. Okay. He was looking for Thin Bloods, okay. and I just kept quiet. That is okay. the right. extent okay. of my relationship, but you are, you have something else going on. I mean, is that your name? Okay, yeah. On no. his jacket? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gross. Mm -hmm. That's weird. That's What's that all about? Are you guys a thing? No, I mean, no, no. No? That doesn't, the way you're saying it, it kind of sounds like maybe. There's like a question mark at the end. Yeah, no, like a no, no dot, 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 no, question mark. Right, yeah. No, no. Mm, that sounds still, still not, not, convinced. not quite convinced. Is this not the guy, convinced. Misty? Is this him? Is this who you wanted to see? Hey, baby doll. Oh. Thank you for the escort. I suppose I have you to thank for that. <coughs> hey, Carter. You want me to stick around? Please. I'll, I'll be right here. Okay. And if you can get Blake as soon as possible, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, he's dealing, there was some guys that's something with the dumpster. I don't know. Maybe trade places with Blake. Please send Blake. Yeah, you Thank got you. it. Oh, and a beer? And a bottle? Yeah, uh, which one? Blue Ribbon? Whatever's cheapest. Just a bottle. Okay. Something. Sure. So okay, Misty? It's fine. Just you bet. Get, him, get him a can of PBR. <laughs> a bottle. Bottle. Drinks out of cans, really. Who drink? How do you drink? I just like to hold it. Uh, what? It helps you blend in. Mm, that's not untrue. So, we got friends with you. How are you? What do you want, Carver? <laughs> just passing through, working. Uh... Oh, that easy. Just uh, making my rounds, doing the good work, trying to find the thin bloods in town. Same old sort of work you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, I found them. And so did you, congratulations. Mm. What do you want with them? Just to talk? Is this both of you? No. You look familiar. We've never met. Uh. I'm Kyoko. She, uh, well. Friend. I'm a friend. What family are you with? Don't, it. No, no, if we're gonna be talking, let's talk. Why do you wanna know? I'm always curious, and it's a better conversation than what's your sign. <laughs> Gross. It weasel. <laughs> I'm not usually open about that stuff, and I don't feel like I can trust you. Oh, have you told them both that they can't trust me? Am I wrong? I don't think she had to tell us. <laughs> now, I'm here to help, and I'm happy to have a conversation. Help. And I'll ask you, when have I ever really lied to you? 
Just because you don't like what I say doesn't mean I'm fucking wrong. Oh, fuck you, Carver. Yeah. That's Delilah. Delilah, meet Carver. Pleasure. I assume this is your place. Yep. I like the decor. Thanks. Drinks look a little weak, though. You can't drink. <laughs> Got him! And tonight I'm glad. So. Blake returns with a cold bottle of PBR. Awesome. Top off. Hands it over. I just handle it. Do you feel cool now? You want to blend in as a basic bitch? <sighs> None of you really, really understand what's at stake or what's going on. You three were having a conversation, obviously. What did I walk in on to? We were talking about Harry Potter and how great it is. Yeah, you ever read Harry Potter, Carver? Nope. Seen the movies? Nope. Went to the theme park? That's just gross. Then you don't really have a place in this conversation then. Sorry. Uh, mm, yeah. Weird. How long have you been a thin blood then? Wow, you're just gonna jump right into the personal questions. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's Did you crazy. want to chit chat with me? Are you interested in my fucking I actually don't feel side? like chit chatting with you. You seem kind of gross. So let's yeah. just get fucking down to it. What? Why, why am I forced to entertain your questions? This is my fucking club. That's true. Yeah, why don't like, you, what are you show offering? yours? How long have you been an asshole like this? Clearly forever. <laughs> Got him. Oh, man. 75, 76, somewhere in there. Okay, boom. Okay, boom. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nice home now, baby. What oh, do you God. want? Why are you here yeah, you can't in just... Los Angeles? You have a lot of fucking nerve showing up in this town again. And you have a lot of fucking nerve showing up in my club demanding questions of me and not offering me anything. I'm definitely here to offer you something. Ooh, haven't heard it yet. Yeah, I guess they can stay. Of course they can stay. They're I know my you friends. can stay. Do you vouch for this one? Yeah. Do you vouch for this one? <sighs> yeah, we've been through the fire. All right. Seems heavy. You got a nice little thing going here. Things are quiet right now. How long are they going to stay quiet? And when things turn, are you going to be ready? Are you going to know what you need to know? Are you going to be prepared to defend yourself from forces that are old and cruel and mean? <laughs> I always bring you something. What have you got this time? Maybe some answers. Maybe just the right questions. A couple other for you. Your friends. They've been holding up all right. Do you trust them? Did everything I say turn out to be true? We're fine. What about your friends? How are they doing? Oh, that's right. You don't have any. <laughs> no. None that you know about. My friends, I don't trust, and they don't trust me, because we're at war. And it's a dangerous, difficult war. And you might be the thing that turns the tide. Oh, what, because of this fucking prophecy or whatever? Oh, you've heard of the prophecy. It's like, superstitious nonsense. Also, the world was gonna end in 2012, and did that happen? No. Do you know the prophecy? Have you heard the prophecy? Just that when thin bloods show up, it's the end of days. Do you wanna hear it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, what, what's, what's the prophecy? What's the magic word? Don't. Don't. The yes. magic word is tell it or you get kicked out of the car. Now. Club. I take my beer, just pour a tiny bit on the floor, and make a sip. Mm. You 
know that's all coming out late later. It's no fun if you're the only one who gets to make a punch, so say it. Please. That wasn't so hard. <sighs> and you will know, he brings out a little notebook, and you will know these last times by the time of thin blood, which will mark vampires that cannot beget. You will know them by the clanless who will come to rule. You will know them by the wild ones who will hunt us even in the strongest city. They're afraid of you because they think that you're gonna turn on them. And to be fair, they have it coming and you probably will. Even if this is just nothing. I mean, why wouldn't you? Why would we? Why would we try and take over vampire kind? <sighs> it's not really taking over when you're just getting rid of those who would rule over you, is it? It's just freedom. It's just being allowed to be your best self. But that's not the end of days, it's just the end of being an asshole. The end of days is just a fancy way of saying the end of a very long life. If you've been around as long as they have, what's the fucking difference between dying and the end of everything? I am self-interested, but you have not met selfishness. Till you've met these fucks. And what are you here for? Answer some questions. Checking out who's where, seeing what you've learned, what you've got. Can you walk in the daylight? What's it to you? It'll keep you safe. It'll make you valuable. Not just to me, but to anybody. That's power. That's a lot of power. Is that what this is about? That's what everything's about. How old are you? Three. Three years. <sighs> Power is the only thing that really matters right now, especially in war. And son, that's a lot of power. You can go literally anywhere. Get a message to anyone, move faster. Influence things that no one else can. God, the things I could do with that. Ugh, oh, you're not helping your case. And you're gross if you're even thinking that. I hate saying this and I hate how often I have to say it, but he's right. They're scared of you. The Camarilla and their established order thrive on tradition, on things remaining the same as they ever have been. And the idea of a whole new generation of vampires, kindred, sorry, who can walk in the sun, who have alchemy. Alchemy. But I can't share that with anyone. I can't make you walk in the sun, so what good am I? No, but you could control me because you can walk in the sun and I can't. No clan, nothing to hold on to. That's very dangerous. And how many of you are there exactly? Don't answer that. I'm starting to get pissy and my hand is sparking blue a little bit. So, Kyoko has stretched out her hand almost reflexively and little motes of blue fire, there's no other way to describe it, begin to play about her fingertips. It's almost as though she's lit a match do, on each of her digits. Do I recognize what this is? Well, you have seen mm. the warlocks play with fire before, but blue? That's a little weird. <laughs> this guy's pissing me off. Like, 
Are you listening to yourselves? He's trying to turn us against each other. No, no. I'm just saying that you guys can control your own destiny. But we can't. Why did you come here? Did you know that we were going to be here? Or were you just looking for them? Oh, I wish I could say that I knew you were going to be here. No, that's just a coincidence. I was looking for this one. So what would you have said if we weren't even here? What I've said so far, probably a bit more. I would have told her to find you. Said you were one of the ones who could be trusted. And as you said, I'm very rarely fucking wrong. Am I wrong? No. How many times has he done, done this to you in the past? Was he right every time? What did he say before? <sighs> to come to him looking for answers. Here I am. I've already brought a couple. Do you practice alchemy? You have people who do. Look, I'm not answering any more questions until you give me this offer that you supposedly have. All right. Try to calm down. <laughs> That's really cool. That's also really fucking cool. Thanks, sorry. Just not to apologize. I am pretending to swig from the beer and then pouring a little bit out again. Cold condensation on the glass feels good against your palm. Who are you even trying to fool up here? So? It's just us, and you're not impressing us. That's fine. The war is happening. The vampires are gonna turn on you. We're in a truce right now. Oh, I'm sorry, we're in a truce right now. What is a truce exactly? Never mind, I can answer that question. A truce is the time you spend preparing for the war. They are stocking up, we are stocking up. Yeah. We are preparing for the inevitable bloodshed. <sighs> Fuck, he's good. And over here is either the first victim or the thing that wins everybody freedom from those bastards. That's her decision. It is. You also haven't given me an offer. I'm here to help you defend yourself. I'm here to help you organize. I'm here to help you know more about yourself. I'm here to keep California and Los Angeles free. And give me one reason why I don't think you're just gonna turn me over to those old ass bastards. Because I made her. <laughs> And you can ask anybody, I have nothing to do with those old bastards, do I? No, he was very much decidedly against them. But what, you gonna show up and you gonna be big brother? Help, help her out? Teach her the ropes? Like you taught me? You didn't need it. I had you specifically because I knew you'd be fine. You'd do what's necessary. I don't know what I hate more. The fact that you actually made me. The fact that you abandoned me. And what do you want in return? This is, you just want to win the war, or get the Camarilla's boots off of our necks. Is that it? War is the only thing that matters. Freedom is the only thing that matters. But freedom has a price. So what's your fucking price? <laughs> My price is that I'm the asshole who gets shit done. This is, not, this is not about what I need from you. And sure, I'd like to know how many of you there are in Los Angeles? How many of you can walk in the sun? How many of you can produce this alchemy, what they're doing? 
I'd like to know who they're doing it for, and I'd like them to be very careful, and maybe, just maybe, tell the right people what's happening. And in return, maybe we can make sure that when they come, and they are going to come, that you are ready, and you are not small and divided and weak, but you are strong and connected and unbreakable. We have been in a stalemate for so long. This is new. That's fucking big. This is destiny. This is, this is the game. This could be it. You said the people that you call friends don't even trust you. Why should she divulge any of that information to you? Because you know what I want? I shouldn't trust me. I wouldn't. But I won't lie to you. And if you need things, I'll get them. If you want to get messages to people, I'll do it. I've got nothing in your petty politics right here. I specifically stay out. I don't have to be here because she's here. What's stopping all these people that believe in the prophecy from slaughtering every thin blood they see once we start organizing? Literally fucking nothing other than whatever friends you choose to make and how much power you decide to grasp for yourself. And, uh, well, us, we won't, the valley, we won't let you be victims. You'll be amazed how few friends you really will have when things start to go wrong. So anybody who's turned knows you figure out who your friends are real quick. I don't lie. We, we found each other today. You don't need to listen to this guy. Miss D, you want me to get rid of him? Five more minutes. Stay close. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look. You're clearly disgusting, and you're clearly an asshole. I, I don't want a fucking war. No one wants a war. Who wants, who wants to go into battle? Who wants to risk their life for something that they, they didn't even choose? The winners want a war and want to go into battle to maintain what they have. No one, nobody wanted a war, we wouldn't have them. No one actually wants this. Lots of people want this. Well, then they're all fucking assholes. No all shit. I'm saying is it's, it's not, it's just not fucking fair. It's not fair that we're stuck with this. I know. And I, I know too many thin bloods that don't like the cards they've been dealt. But I'm not going to put the only connection to a semblance of family I have at risk because some greasy fuckwad came into my club and growled a little bit. So I'm gonna need a lot more than just big brother leather jacket giving me some advice to put my people at risk. First of all, your people are already at risk. And feel free to call me a liar any moment you fucking want. They're already at risk. They're already vulnerable. And if push came to shove, other than a couple of very special cases, that one definitely, I don't know about that one. Most of them won't have your back. That's a lie. Most of them, if it comes down to it, would rather survive than die. LA, LA and the LA Anarchs are different now. <laughs> How 
long have I been fucking gone? <laughs> oh. You don't know. All the Valkyries, all of the other Anarchs that put their unlifes, whatever we call it on the line, that, that died in this last skirmish to have peace? You want to jeopardize that? I'm not jeopardizing it. I'm just reminding you that the peace is a lie. Yeah, and when it ends, we will have their backs. We will. I believe you, but your friends, the other barons, when their sires come knocking, when the clans get involved, things, uh, things get sticky once mommy and daddy show up. It's one of the gifts I gave you, and I want you to remember that, is that you're one of the few of these fuckers who doesn't owe their sire shit. That does make you special. So when mommy and daddy come back around, wow, then you learn who the snitches are. Then you learn the people who are willing to fight just enough but are loud, just gonna give a little information to the wrong person. They think it's gonna be harmless, but I assure you it will not be. All it takes is a tiny bit of betrayal. And everything's fucked. You're wrong. I'm really not. And you I mean, know that. Even if it was true, how would you be any fucking different? <sighs> I make what I want clear. People who deal with me know that I'm clear in what I want. I can get you in contact with other thin bloods. If you like, I can tell you more. Some of it is not for them to know. And I don't need your trust. I just occasionally need a favor and will need the truth on occasion. And I'll give you truth for truth. I will never ask you to trust me. That would be fucking crazy. And if these favors put myself and my kind at risk? Well, then don't do them. What the fuck am I gonna do? Even if Delilah decides to take you up on some offer of organization, she doesn't owe you anything. Not your favors, not your vampire boons. It's from what it sounds like, I may need you, but you desperately need us. We all need you. And the sooner you figure out that we all need you, and that you and your people are the most important <sighs> Yeah, she needs you, I need you. And if that's the case, then I call the fucking shots here. What do you wanna know? <laughs> do you even know what to ask? Miss D, I think, I think we might have a problem. What's wrong? I mean, I mean another problem. Why can this night just get, okay, fuck what? Parts the curtain so that you can see out onto the dance floor. And he gestures subtly. And you see that dark haired woman near the bar? I'm pretty sure that's who Baron Temple warned us about. <laughs> Did you fucking bring someone here? Fuck no. No, I, that's. Who is it? Are you looking? Yeah. It is Aurora. It's Aurora. It's the Scourge. It's the camera the Scourge. What the she fuck is that? She has long dark hair, good cheekbones, kind of an aquiline face. She's dressed in um, dark club wear that would seem a little out of place 
anywhere else. But here, seems right. It's got a good sense of style. A lot of gold jewelry. She's standing at the bar, talking to one of the bartenders. Annabelle, you know what to look for if you want to point it out. She's a high-ranking Camarilla official. She is a La Sombra, which means that she can be shadow, manipulate shadows, and just disappear. Harbor, it's easy for you to verify that just by looking carefully in the mirrored surfaces of the fish tanks near the bar. Her reflection is indistinct, hazy, distorted, weird. If you didn't know what to look for, it probably wouldn't mean anything. But have you've I, seen that plenty of times before. Have I heard of her? Do I, do I? Well, she's new to you. Oh, shit. She was there before I went into torpor. Have you pissed this thing off? Some, some shit went down. Yeah, we, we killed her brother. <laughs> oh, fucking great. So what do we do? We're trapped in this booth. Well, we can't do anything, and she technically can't do anything because of the truce. But I still don't trust her. No. Should we go? I don't know what she's up to. She has finished her conversation with the bartender and she is looking around the club, swaying to the music a little bit. You can tell that if she were to get on the dance floor, she would know what to do. Um, I want to snap my fingers and have shift Blake over so he's covering more of the booth. You got it. I'm a wall. Yeah. As the figurehead of the revolution. I guess I'd better see what she wants. Everybody, stay here, stay prepped. Are you sure? She doesn't like fire, so good thing you're here. What's the single signal if things go bad? I'll probably just start screaming for help. Has she been in your club before? Not that I've seen, no. Was she here tonight? I don't know. It's a real party tonight. <laughs> okay. What a coincidence. Um, I'm gonna... You wanna confront her? Oh, this is all diplomacy. You're leaving the booth? Yeah. Head down to the dance floor. Out on the dance floor? Baby B, yo, hey, you gonna dance? Hey! Hey! Selfie time! Woo! <laughs> yeah. I hope you're having a good night. I was watching carefully. Okay. You, uh... Get out there and back her up. Stay a few feet away, try and listen. I don't think that's a good idea. Right there now. are no good ideas anymore. Cruising on through, brushing off admirers. We need someone. People who want to take your picture. Floor. Temple of Boom fans. Yeah. Back her. Aurora smiles pleasantly as she you come into her line of sight. Please. You're right, dancing on the dance floor. We have done that before. I remember it very fondly. I did not expect to find you here. Well, I'm just out for a little fun. It's nice to relax sometimes after the travails of politics, isn't it? Absolutely. Care to dance? With you? Oh. I followed. I'm keeping my distance. She takes your hand and lets you lead. Kyoko, do I understand that you two have left the booth and come out onto the dance floor? Or are you hanging back? I'm kind of in between. <laughs> Is the booth like upstairs out of sight? No, it's on the ground floor. Okay, so it's the same level. Uh, there is I another just don't want to take my eyes off her either. There is another dance floor. It's just up. So. Aurora's into it. She's enjoying it. She actually takes pleasure in the music and in the movement. I'm a good leader. 
You are no slouch on the dance floor, as you have proven in the past. What brings you here tonight? Just looking to let off a little steam. Mm -hmm. How about you? Oh, I am checking up on something for you know who. I, I don't. Who else? My employer. Hmm. What? Is there anything that I can help you with? Well, we now are that you mention it. Working together now, of course. <laughs> I would not go that far. She leans in close. I'm looking for an anarch ringleader. And I'm not talking about your precious Baron. An Anarch ringleader? Mm-hmm. He shares your clan. You may have known him. You can't miss him. He's very distinctive. He has strange colored hair. That's most Bruja, I'll have you know. And come to think of it, he does usually wear a leather jacket. That also is not very helpful. You make a good point. What do you want with him? What does... Oh, I just want to talk to him. Haven't you heard? There's a truce. Interesting. As much as I may find it distasteful, I am duty and honor bound to observe the word of my employer. I have standards that must be maintained. What... Do you want with him? What does he... I just want to talk to him. He goes by the name of Carver. I've heard that name. Mm. He is infamous even in your disgusting circles. Oh, rude. Mm. It is a truce. It doesn't mean I have to be polite. Fair. I spin her around. Ooh. Hot move. Oh, as she spins, she can come into your line of sight. You into hers. You're not alone. You brought a friend. Girls' night. That is adorable. Hmm. I wave. Hmm. So, two anarchs just out for a night of fun? Oh, she may have a leather jacket, but I didn't say she was an anarch. Is that like the uniform? Is that required? You're handed a complimentary leather jacket once you get turned. Mm -hmm. Saves a lot of time, I suppose. Mm. Well. Don't worry. I know who owns the club. I'm not here to interfere with your precious little duskborns. Duskborns? That's hot. I like that. I will deal with them soon enough. I don't like that. Truth won't last forever. Now she spins you. Oh. I don't suppose you see my brother anywhere. I haven't, actually, mm -hmm. not since. Neither have me. I. He has been missing for many nights. I would give a great deal to know his fate, where he is. I worry about him. I would consider it a personal favor of great magnitude if somebody were to give me information that led me to him. Maybe you would do me a favor, a tiny favor, in the name of peace, and spread that information around to your mm, associates. I will. They are on the dance floor. They are having, hmm, some sort of conversation while they dance. Is it possible to use Auspex while having a conversation with another person? Ooh, you know from past experience that in a club like this, you'll definitely Just yourself. go fucking, okay, never mind. You'll blow your eardrums out. I'm gesturing at Annabelle to see if she'll give me a gesture back that everything's okay. And at some point I want to cover this conversation that's happening while they're gone. So, you haven't seen my brother. I haven't. You don't know where Carver is? If I did, mm -hmm. what would be in it for me? 
Oh, Just you like, are why learning. would I give away? You are learning fast. Mm. I've had some good teachers. I see. I will trade you some interesting information about your friend Jasper. What? Why wouldn't I just ask Jasper myself? Why indeed? I mean, if, he's if you to talk knew the to right him, question, but... you might. Think about it. Think about it. I'm going to go help myself to a little drink. I'll be back in. But, of course, peacefully, right? You know, no trouble at the club, neutral territory. There is, as I said, a truce. Of course. Mm -hmm. See you soon. This seems like a very appropriate place to pause our vampire story for now. Hi, I'm Yev, and I'm Canon. Backblaze sponsored season four of LA by Night, and I would welcome you to go to backblaze.com slash LA by Night and give Backblaze a free try. We're an online backup service. We back up all the data that's on your computer. We store it safely and securely in the cloud, and you can get it back from us from anywhere in the globe. Go to backblaze.com slash LA by night. Start your free trial today.
Just an ordinary night in Van Nuys. <laughs> At a nightclub called The Deep. Full of fish and sharks. The sharks here, however, have fangs instead of fins. Meanwhile, back in the booth. Now that they're gone, do you want to have a real talk? Not here. Just follow me. Grab my beer. And I want to lead him up to my office. You want to have Blake come with you? Absolutely. I'm I'll, I'll motion to Blake. Definitely try and not be seen. People know you here. A lot of the regulars, the staff, of course. Some of the other people in your extended family. You stop to talk to anybody along the way, or do you make a straight line? Just to make the a office? straight line, kind of looking everyone in the eye that's trying to approach me, knowing like this is mm -hmm. not the time. Not right now. Yeah. This is business. Blake does his best too to keep employees, associates, admirers, customers away from you, and you're trying not to be seen. Okay, so you leave the dance floor, go through the door behind the bar, and you ascend two flights to the top level of the building. What's your office like? It's minimalist. Kind of looks like it's out of a Pinterest board. You wouldn't think that it would be, you know, lighter colors and darker woods, but that's the kind of vibe of this. Some succulents about. It's almost tasteful. It's pretty tasteful. And a large kind of curved desk with a comfy chair sits in the middle of it. Very different from the decor of the deep. Mm -hmm. And I'll sit behind the desk and gesture to one of the seats. Are there windows? No. There are no windows in this room. Blake will wait just outside the door. Mm -hmm. Nice. You're gonna want an office with windows. Sure. All Lots right. of sunlight, no curtains. To keep me safe? To keep you private. And yeah, to keep you safe. Cut a whole bunch of people out of your room when you don't want them here. Does that bank vault work? Yeah. Good. So. This is where it's serious. If I give this to you, this is serious. If I give you names, if I give you people to contact, it could hurt a lot of people. I'm not looking to hurt people. I'm looking to keep myself safe and keep my people safe. These names I'm gonna give you are other thin bloods. Are you gonna keep them safe? Or are you gonna keep yourself safe? I'm gonna keep Thin blood safe. That's good. There's two other bits of information, I guess. The rumors. There's rumors that, for you anyway, there's a cure. Like, for. Like, I. What? I could... I don't know how. I haven't figured it out. But yeah. That sounds like some fairy tale bullshit. All of this is fairy tale bullshit. All right, you got me on that one. But some rumors you ignore, some rumors fester into facts. This one's itchy. People are looking. And the, even if it isn't true, the fact that it might be, it's dangerous. What's the point of being cured? They're just gonna hunt me down and suck me dry. Well, there's one other cure. That, that's the real problem. They say, and this one's, this is the scary one, that if you, consume a vampire. You 
get everything that they were. You could, in theory, literally be their replacement. Wouldn't I have heard that by now? Come on, that's... Why would you have heard that by now? And to be fair, you are hearing it right now. This is not something that's talked about. It is dangerous. It is a piece of information you have to be very careful of. It makes you a threat on so many levels. The wrong people know some vampire goes missing. Even if you don't have their power, maybe you were just trying. Suddenly, somebody else kills a vampire, they decide to bring it to you so that they can get an ally. This is chaos. This is everything. The camera of the fear. This is the promise of power. This is what makes you dangerous. So what, you want me to round up the thin bloods and we all go eat Camarilla and take over the vampire world? Is that what you're trying to get us to do? I think that's a terrible idea, personally. Well, then why would you tell me this? Because other people think it. Because there might become a day when you need to save yourself. And you need to save those around you. It might be an exit. And it's good to know everything. What's the point of not knowing what you are and what you're capable of? I'm guessing they know this. I don't think they do. Some of them do, maybe, but your friends, your new friends, they don't. Not that I know of. This is uh, a little bit more than those children are ready for. I don't want them to fear you yet. And how did you get to know this? I'm an asshole. This is what I do. I find out what needs to be known, I find the people who need to know it, and I make sure that everyone knows when they, where they stand before the war starts. And when the war does start, where will you be? Tucking tail, reaping the benefits of everyone else killing each other on the information that you've given? What do you get out of all of this? Because it's not out of the goodness of your non-existent fucking heart. I want freedom. It's just for me. I don't trust them. I don't trust any of it. And I'm good at it. So yeah, this is what I do. And no, you shouldn't trust me. But... The things I give you... I'm trusting you. You don't have to trust me. You could fuck me over six ways to Sunday right now with this information, but it would hurt a lot of people. I try and find somebody who's putting themselves in positions of power, and you're there, whether you wanted it or not. And I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Although, if you need to get a hold of me, that can be done. But in the meantime, you can trust Annabelle. But just remember, don't trust who she trusts. She's... She hasn't been hurt enough quite yet to really know. Who's worthwhile and who's worth trusting. Clearly you've heard her, she doesn't trust you. That's good. All right, let's say on a conditional basis, I take your information and we keep in contact. I'm gonna give you three names. If you can make this disappear while I'm standing here, that'd be good. How's your memory? Pretty good. I'm just gonna show you a card. Some names of people to contact in Berlin, Montreal, Seattle. They're your people. You can ask them about me if you want. You can check up as much as you need. Keep in contact. Keep communicating. Pay attention. You are a threat. And you need to be ready 
to fight. I don't know how to fight. You ever punched anybody before? A dick ex-boyfriend once. What'd you do? Broke his jaw. <laughs> well. We can't have had this conversation, you understand? But we're gonna need some cover in case things go wrong. Like what? I'll put the beer bottle in front of her and lean forward. Time for number two. Mm. Pick it up. I'll slowly reach out and pick it up. I need to get thrown out of your office. Your guy can't know. What am I? <sighs> Shit, this is taking too long. I'm gonna reach over and attempt to lick the side of your head. <laughs> Delilah, how do you wanna handle that? Uh, I'm going to smash the bottle against your head. Cool. Okay, so I'm presuming that you don't dodge or try to resist. Nope, taking it. You're gonna take it in the face? Yep. Smash! Shards of glass dig into the side of your face, cutting through the undead flesh. Vitae leaks to the surface, marring your features. Good start. The door opens. Hey, what's going on in here? You fucking tease! Fuck you! Oh, and I'm not gonna just, in just normal human speed, I'm gonna go make a, make a, make a punch. You're gonna try to punch yeah. Delilah. Okay, so a human multiple speed. things happen. Cool. <laughs> Your intention is to try to punch her. Are you going to pull the punch or are you going to try to make contact? Uh, what's this dude behind me doing? Uh, he looks like he's going to lunge at you and try to grab you in a bear hug and hold oh, you. Oh, sure. Then I'm going to put just a normal amount of human, human strength behind it then. Not using potent. No, no, no. Okay. Don't want to hurt this fucker. Delilah. Yeah. What would you like to do? I'm going to pull the dagger out of my boot. Yeah, okay. And take a swing at his face. Mm hmm Gonna let him have it in the face. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm gonna roll for Blake. Uh, Delilah, let's have you roll. Let's see, it should be dexterity and melee, which would give you. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, that'll give me four? We give you four dice. So I just roll the four dice. Mm-hmm. Carver. Mm-hmm. Strength uh, and Brawl, which is six dice. I got one Ankh and a half moon and then two uh, blanks. What does that mean? Two blanks and two successes. Yes. Okay. Uh, six basic basic black dice. Uh, take one black out and add one for your one, hunger dice. One red. Okay, that's right. Uh, two successes. Two successes. Ty, and I will have Blake. It's gonna get complicated. Mm, okay. Three successes, making Blake the big winner here. Perfect. So, uh, Blake steps in, and just before your punch, punch connects, he throws his huge biceps around you and pins your arms to the sides of your body. Your knife, however, mm -hmm. finds its target. Sweet. Where do you want to cut him? Uh, across his face. Across his face. Across he his slashes face. you, making another jagged cut right across the bridge of your nose. A lot more vitae begins to leak down the front of your mug. What do you want me to do with him? Kick him the fuck out. Come on, out of here. Come on, asshole. See you soon. Mm -hmm. do, you, uh, do you resist? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Blake is uh, hauling you to your feet, his arm's still around you, getting you into a, a grip, one around the back of the arm, one hand on your ear, He's frog marching you out the door. Okay? Cool. All right. Meanwhile, back on the dance floor, what have you done between the time 
excuse me, between the time that uh, Aurora left you and the time she comes back, are you going back to the booth? And the time is she coming back? She said she would. <laughs> um, I, I went to go check on the booth because it seemed check like on the they booth? were fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is when you discover that the booth is empty. Carver, and Delilah, and Blake are not around. Uh, and then I, this was, this was when they were still having a conversation, so I went, I checked and saw it's empty and I went back mm -hmm. to find Annabelle. Find Annabelle, okay. Cameron wants Carver. They're gone. What? The booth's empty. I don't know what is going on, but I'm sure it's no good. Oh, well, I hope Delilah's okay. I shouldn't have left. It's okay, she's smart. Where's Aurora? I'm right here. She returns to your side, brushing a little dab of blood away from her lip. I was famished, excuse me. Oh, that was quick. Mm. Why waste time? Mm. I brought, you know, something for the road. Had it waiting. So, where were we? Oh, look. A private booth. Yeah, we know the club owner, which apparently you do too. Well, I know of her. We've never had the pleasure of meeting, although I'd very much like to. Hmm, well. You do you talk know about? where she is? No. No, but if she wants to meet you, I'm sure she'll find us. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I see. Well, I think I'll just help myself to this uh, space. Are you going to join me? Please, yes. She seats herself, stretches out on one side of the booth, puts her feet up. But she sits with the back to the fish tank so she can see the dance floor. How much do you trust Carver with Delilah? Um, what did you two talk about? Where are you saying this? In the booth? Or oh, are we not all together? I presume that you are. We are okay. all together. <laughs> so you do know him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I do know Carver. Mm hmm. Interesting. And you do as well, I take it. Yeah. My bad was like, not supposed to say that. That's fine. It's fine. Well, if she didn't tell you that you weren't supposed to tell me, how could you possibly know? How have you been What's going feeling, on? Bro? Can you repeat that? How have you been? Fantastic. Mm. I enjoyed our little dance in the labyrinth. I did not. Oh, you know each other. Mm, we've met. Can you explain what happened to my hair and what the hell? Oh, there are, ooh, I'm actually just getting angry thinking about it. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm, uh, Actually, I'm not okay. I fucking hate her. Sparking again. Can't control it. Your blue flames shooting yeah. from your fingertips. Uh, Aurora, uh, for the first time, looks nervous and less sure of herself. And she inches away from you, still seated in the booth. There's no need for that. You did this to me. I did not. Besides, you brought it on yourself, messing with things that you should never have troubled with. You don't understand anything. Then help me understand. Why should I? You're anarchs. You reject everything that we stand for. Order, security, the first tradition. We reject what is broken. A system that benefits only a few. 
it benefits everyone who respects that system. It's not too late. So as long as we're under your heel, then it helps. Let me put it this way. My clan were the original Anarchs. Did they tell you that? Did they no. tell you what we were? Don't you fucking condescend us. We were the original Anarch movement. Asombra started what you now try to perpetrate. And what happened to you? Why do you follow somebody who, if rumors are correct, not doing so hot in the leadership role? Those are very Because it's tradition? Questions. Those are very good questions. Let me address the first one. What happened to us? It was a very long time ago, and no, I wasn't there. Even, even my sire was not there. It was in the late 15th century, at a place called Thorns in England. A great convention, a, a congress of kindred met from all across Europe. They met to decide a great question. How should we protect ourselves from the Inquisition? This is not the first time the humans have haunted us. But in the 15th century, they did not have flamethrowers and machine guns and machines that can detect us and airplanes and you get the idea. All they had was <laughs> faith and fire. But it was enough. They dragged us kicking and screaming from our havens, burned us at the stake, burned us in the sun. As I understand it, this convention met to decide how to deal with this problem. And the elders, as you might imagine, dealt with it by throwing their childer into harm's way, by taking advantage of their naivete, their innocence, their blood bonds. Sounding familiar yet? So at this Congress was proposed two very, very different points of view. One of those points of view became what you know now as the Camarilla. And the first principle is of the Camarilla is, of course, the masquerade. Don't reveal us. The other faction, led by my clan, my ancestors, became what you may have heard of as the Sabbat. And we are not going to talk about that tonight. That is a story for another time. But to come around full circle, <laughs> we were wrong. We have changed our minds and we would prefer to survive in these modern nights. So we have chosen the better part of valor. And so now we find ourselves joined with our ancient enemy. And that is what happens with anarchy. It is at this point when there's a commotion on the dance floor. Carver, in the grip of Mr. Blake, the bouncer, his face streaming with vitae, is marched down the stairs oh. toward the door, being pushed across the floor. People moving out of the way, pointing, talking, taking pictures. It's fucking bullshit, this club sucks! Oh my God! Shut up, asshole! Fuck you! Out! I'm gonna headbutt just for fun. You're gonna headbutt him just for fun. Mm -hmm. Your head snaps back. There's a satisfying crunch. You can uh, feel the uh, gush of warm blood against the back of your head as his nose begins to bleed. Oh man, you are going down. That is it. <laughs> that is it. A couple of other bouncers join the fray, mm -hmm. surrounding you, punching. 
Oh, are they taking, taking punches? Yeah, they're starting to throw punches. Okay. Yeah, you hurt their guy. Found him. Good. Ah. That is more like it. Um, how, how uncomfortable am I at this point? There's not much they can do to really hurt you. Um, his grip, you think you could break without half trying, without even needing potence? I'm but just, if this keeps up, they're gonna start to wear you down. Um, I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna start a good old fashioned yeah. Here we gentle go. brawl. Just yeah. a slap fight. She's here uh, for him? So, Son of a bitch. Yeah. As you come down the stairs behind. Nothing fancy. You see violence erupt on the dance floor of your club. The three members of your security bouncer team are trying to hold Carver down but he is simply too strong for them. He starts to flick them off as though they are just made of paper. They smash into other people. Those people get upset. Punches are thrown. Bottles are broken. I, it's chaos on the dance floor. Uh, at, the top, I'm at the top of the stairs, I haven't fully come down, and I just yell, everyone out! Everyone get the fuck out of my club right the fuck now! And I like, motion for the lights to start being flipped on and the music to be cut off. I'm gonna presume that you and your team have uh, probably been through this sort of thing <laughs> yes. more than one more than one There's occasion. There's a contingency plan. Mm -hmm. So they know the signal, they know to kill the music, mm -hmm. they know to bring up the lights. The fight currently is contained to your side of the dance floor. A large segment of the club goers begin to move toward the exit, but they can't really all get through it at the same time. So it's a mess. It's an <laughs> absolute mess. This one's going to be, this one's going to be ugly. I want to head down the stairs and walk over to them. Fucking ass monger! Can you get him? Can you get him the fuck out? Is it absolutely necessary to have all these lights on? Uh, listen, Aurora, lights are on. Masquerade is uh, in a little bit of a rocky space. Maybe it'd be good to make yourself scarce. Hmm, maybe I'll just wait outside. Care to join? Are you going to join me or are you going to help your friend? I'll meet you outside later. I'll be waiting. I'll bet you will. What I'm will you do? I'm glad Delilah's okay. You okay? I'm sorry, I, did, I didn't know that you guys had history. I didn't know you guys had history. Well, well, everybody seems to know each other. I'm trying to figure all this out right now. I just got we have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's check on Delilah. What? Are they gonna wade through the chaos to get yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going. going. I'm kind of. Also I'm trying gonna to do meet my them. best not to, you know. You are. Uh, you okay, are I'm. I perfectly... throw up Daunt. I throw up Daunt. Oh yeah. Okay. <sighs> so. You're gonna call upon the power of your vitae to make yourself supernaturally scary. After it's like, yeah, hey, everybody's good to get. God, God damn it! Okay, don't. Does this affect me too? Subconsciously like clear a path for you. It only it would only affect you. Oh, so uh, what you can feel is Annabelle, despite her usual pleasant demeanor suddenly becoming an object of apprehension. It's as though a shadow has come over her face and something frightening haunts her eyes. It's a good trick. It would only affect you significantly if she turned it on you and decided to actually try to scare you. You feel the effect, but it doesn't necessarily change your behavior toward her. That's up to you. But for the mortals in the club, they subconsciously get the hell out of her way. Get out of the dance floor, get out of the club, hope you had a good night, good night, good night, go, 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 go. They practically trip over themselves in their haste to obey her, attempting to get out of the club with a, a lot more fervor. Some out the back, some out the sides, some out the front. Wow, impressive. Mm -hmm. The fight, however, is still going on. It's drawn in maybe, I don't know, a good dozen or so people. Cool. Any, anybody? Really like to throw punches. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do I, do I see Annabelle walking? It's a good and proper Barney. 
can I can I get to can I get through Dot to get to Annabelle or no? Um, so the actual power will affect you if Annabelle turns it on you mm -hmm. and attempts to frighten you. I don't. Um, question: The people brawling are they mortal or? As far as you can tell, it's all just normal people. The only one who is involved in your family is Blake. All right, well in that case, then I'm gonna fucking throw up Dawn. And I'm gonna start screaming at these people fighting. I'm gonna say, I said get the fuck out of my club. All right, grab some dice. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Only two of them, correct? Let's make it uh, charisma. Ah. Oh. And dice for intimidation. Oh. It's three. And? So only charisma and intimidation? Charisma, intimidation, and then two more dice for those presence powers that you've got currently sitting on your sheet. Are any of them hunger dice? So you are at one hunger, so one die comes out, and one hunger, guy, hunger die goes into the pool. Uh, I have two of the half moons and one has fangs on it. Yeah, okay. Um, and then two successes and a fail. Two successes and a fail. But then the also the full moon, so four successes technically. Four successes total. Yeah. But are two half moons a crit? Uh, let's see, those would be your, the, did you say you got two half moons? Mm -hmm. Okay, so two thin blood symbols. Mm -hmm. that's, just, that's the clan symbol of ah. thin blood, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you actually have six successes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so scary. <laughs> Busted. From your place on the stairway, several feet above the heads of the club goers, you take on a frightening demeanor. You seem stern, commanding, intimidating, even scary. There's something in your eyes that tells everyone who looks at you that if they don't do as you tell them to do, they are going to regret it, probably forever. What do you tell them to do? I said get the fuck out of my club. Everyone who's throwing punches throws up their hands, backs away, and starts heading for an exit. They don't even want to look at you. You're so scary, it's so intimidating. And on the back of that, I want to walk down the stairs just to they stay force the presence. away from where you are. Even Blake is affected. He doesn't want to look at you. He says, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss D. You just got out of control. Get him out. I'm yeah. already running straight towards Annabelle, going right up to you. You meet in the center of the dance floor. She is preternaturally intimidating. What are you up to? Oh, see you later, baby doll. You want an alibi? What do you got in mind? I head butter hard. Ah, oh. Fuck you, Ow. Carver! I, and hard enough to bleed. Hard enough to bleed. <laughs> Annabelle has rapid reflexes, that I believe. Is that, is that correct? Uh, ye cats? No, I have oh, cats. Oh, you have cats, Grace. Have cats, Grace. <laughs> so you don't actually I do not. sidestep that. Yeah. I've seen this happen. Ah. Smash, the forehead fuck? to face. Uh, I take a take a quick shot. Take a quick shot of Kyoko. Yeah. Kyoko, what do you want to do about that? Uh, do I see this coming? <laughs> yeah, you see him coming. I mean, if he wants to throw hands, I'm going to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that with or without fire? Uh, ooh. There are people, no, they're all gone. Huh? There are still a couple people, they're running. There are humans in the club, but they are paying no attention to you. They are fleeing from the scary people, the fighting, the police who may or may not show up at any second. So I'm not very good at controlling that yet, which is why my sisters get pissed off at me. Mm-hmm. I'm flaring up. <laughs> flaring up? Okay. I'm, I was Blue going. To, I was going to start kicking in fleetness soon too, because I'm going to. I'm going to yeah. Might be a good idea, considering that uh, her hands have burst into blue flames yep. as she gets into it with you. Oh yeah, I'm just taking my one punch and running. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so Kyoko, uh, let's make a dice pool. So you're going to take okay. dice for your strength, 
and dice for your brawl. Okay. And then take uh, one die out and add the hunger die in, yeah. the red die. Yeah. Okay. Carver, let's see here. Same for you. Oh. It'll be strength and brawl in your pool as well. Strength and brawl. With ball. one hunger die. So, so it's the same pool as uh, the, the uh, six. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. We'll go ahead and roll them at the same time. Woo! <laughs> oh, no. Mm. That's a. Uh, one, two, three, four, five successes. Five successes. <laughs> three misses. Three, so a, to- a complete failure. Yes. Ah, I see. It's going to whoop my ass. That's another one. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's the hunger die? Is it blank also? It's also blank. Yeah. It's also blank. So if you want to, you could spend willpower. How many dice in your pool? <laughs> In my willpower? In your total pool, how many total dice did you roll? Three. Three dice. So unfortunately, even by spending willpower, you would not be able to generate enough successes to beat the margin on the roll. So unfortunately, your flaming fists do not connect with Carver, which is a good thing because as they pass near you, you can tell that even though you don't, uh, you don't recognize this power, it's not good. you're not immune to it at all. His punch does connect, and you take a superficial point of damage. Fuck! <laughs> it's not much, but it stings. I'm now, I've, I've kicked in fleetness. You want to get out of here? Yeah, I'm just going to just gonna leave with a little uh, whisper in, in, in her ear really quickly and kick his ear. As a parting shot, do you want to throw the fire at him? Is this before he whispers? The last, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll flip around and just, just very quietly in your ear say, Anything happens to her, I will kill you. And then I'm out. And then you're out. Oh, wait, I'm throwing that fire. Are you going to throw it at him <laughs> as he recedes away at fast speed? Okay, make a dexterity, please. And. Yeah. Okay. And. Dexterity and athletics. Oh, excuse me. Um, where's your sheet here? It's been so long since I did this. This is so nice. <laughs> dexterity and athletics. Okay. Add three dice for the blood sorcery. Oh, wow. <laughs> Significant pool. Party shot. Mm. Uh, four successes? Four successes. One of them is a, well, I guess that doesn't matter. Yeah, four successes. You want to try to avoid it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Zig, zag, spin, die, oh, yeah, turn. I'm out. You're out of here. Okay, so Dex and Athletics to you. Dex and Athletics, mm-hmm. does the fleetness give me a bonus? Uh, how many dice and celerity do you have? Uh, I have one point, one dice and celerity. So add, add that die to it. Okay, where's, it's been so long. Okay, so two, is Athletics, where's my Athletics? It's been so, uh, uh, four. Might want to burn some willpower on this too. See what the roll is. Hmm? Yeah. See what the roll is. Uh, five, I think, is what I'm on. Mm-hmm. Uh, one success. One success. So. If you want to spend a willpower, you can re-roll up to three dice, but even if they were all successes, you would only tie. Uh, I'll take it. Take the damage. Okay. So, the bolt strikes you in the back as you're headed out. It burns. You haven't felt the heat of fire in quite some time. It's been a long time since anybody dared mess with you like that. What does it do to the jacket? Unfortunately... (laughs) It sears the jacket. Part of it burns away. The arm, part of the back, marring that beautiful design. Uh, you'll be fine with me. You Get suffer you. two Get aggravated wounds, and those mm. are bad news. You'll be mm. healing those for a couple of nights. That's fine. It's worth it. Uh, two aggravated wounds. Fuck. Carver makes it through the door and outside into the parking lot. Nearly everyone has left the club at this point, except for a couple of (laughs) stragglers who are being helped out by the security team, your security team, and your staff. And then, of course, there's you, Delilah, Annabelle, and Kyoko. I'm trying to make a break for it. There is nothing between you and the freedom of the night. I'm out with fleetness. I'm just burning. Out and gone. 
Not stopping. Am I out? Peace and out. Later, kids. I'm trying to control my temper, but I'm just like fuming now. <laughs> fuck that asshole! You're such an asshole! Yeah, fuck that asshole! Oh my god. Good shot. <sighs> the blue fire continues to play around your fingers occasionally, spitting and sparking. <sighs> Security team knows better than to pay attention to that obvious display of supernatural power. Did good. Um, once everybody's out, I want to snap my fingers for the lights to be lowered again. Bring the lights down again. I want to walk over to them. Hey, you said you didn't have superpowers. That was, that was awesome. Is that a superpower? I don't yeah. Know. Being tough and scary. That's a. It's not fucking big thing. That. I calmed down because I remember how hype she was. <laughs> and I'm like, what was that? That's cool shit. What was that? What you was said that? you weren't a leader. You just bossed everybody around. It was Pretty amazing. <laughs> it just kind of came to me, but that's, I don't have fire. Uh, I'm really sorry, Miss D. Um, I'm gonna have to get this, you know, fancy some Yeah. Throw that guy out of hand. It's all right. You know what? Take the rest of the night off. Yeah, seriously tough. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, kind of an asshole. But oh, you know that jerk? Yeah, of course you did, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know, it's, you know, the occupational hazard. I gotta fix this. Yeah, take gotcha. the rest of the night off. Uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna be okay? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be okay. I'm gonna leave, you know, uh, England and, and uh, Joe with you. Sounds good. Just, okay. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Rest yeah. up. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, good night. It was, it was nice night. to meet you both. Good night. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh. Um. Blake uh. leaves the club in a haze of blood and pain. Sorry, I didn't manage anything. Sorry that got out of hand. Mm. Your staff begins sweeping up the broken glass, mopping up the blood, hey, straightening this. things, making a tally of the broken furniture. That's just gonna, that's, that's so much money. That's so much money. Okay. Hey, All right. it's okay. We'll send the bill <sighs> to Daddy Temple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of his fault, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta keep All the right. peace in the valley. Yep. It's all covered. Is this peace? Is that what this is? It's something like it. It is um, something like it. You're such a boss, though. You know, I was worried for a second when, when I left your side and I realized he probably got what he wanted. <laughs> But did I mean, you do that to his face? Was that you? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, about that. <laughs> what a badass. Just saying that I'm surprised Carver let you get a hit in. As am I. But hey, at least we know we can handle myself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good on ya. Thanks. I just. Hope I never have to do that again, you know? Well, he was right. It would behoove you to mobilize your people. And it seems like the camera all are scared of you. Yeah. That's not true. Aurora is coming down the stairs. The same stairs you came down just a few minutes ago. We are not scared of you. I thought you were outside. Yeah, you said you'd wait outside. I got bored. Hmm. You know With how all the is. excitement going on? Yeah. I did not get a chance to speak to your friend Carver. Very disappointing. Hello. I just kind of look over at them. So you are Delilah. You are the leader of this of this club? Yes, I am. Mm. I'm sure they told you who I am. They've mentioned it. I represent His Majesty Prince Van Evar. Okay. Mm. Charming. What did Mr. Carver tell you? Well, he took me up into my office, he licked my face, and I punched the fuck out of him. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, I applaud you. Brilliant. He 
clearly deserved it and had it coming. Mm -hmm. You did that to his face. Yeah. I only got a glimpse as he raced past. Well, yeah. Gross. So. What a pig. Question. Um, I'm surprised that Carver came all this way and took the trouble to meet you in your club, only to be such a pig that you felt you had to cut him open. And I'm not. He's disgusting. End of conversation. Okay, thank you. The club is closed. Have a good night. Wait. Wait. No. You said you had information in exchange for Carver. Well, I was hoping to speak to him. Is this something that you could arrange? We tend to take an interest whenever he is in one of our domains. Yeah. Besides, my clan and Carver have some unfinished business. He didn't seem to know you. Oh, I don't, uh, hmm. No, we have never met personally. He's, uh, it's a clan thing. I don't doubt that you and most of Los Angeles has some sort of business with Carver. He is notorious, infamous. He is a, a ringleader of the anarch movement. He travels from city to city, disturbing the peace and encouraging rebellion. But I am led to understand that he is very clever. Well, all he encouraged tonight was a knife in the face. Not to mention a mess. Yes, which I will be cleaning up for the rest of the night. Now, if you excuse me, I have work to do. Hmm. Well, it was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Delilah. I'm sure we will see each other again. Good evening. I'll be outside. My boredom has been sated, at least for the moment. She leaves your club and goes outside again. She's a fucking delight. Yep. Yeah, she's... I'll send the specs later, but you might want to get some high flood lights installed in the club. Great. So in one night, my life has gone from shitty to shittier. Sorry about that. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It's the fault of whoever fucking did this to me and left me to figure it out on my own, I guess. You're not on your own, though. I'm new to this, she's new to this. We're all figuring this out, and I think that in some ways, as the new kids, we have an edge that the olders, the, old, the, the elders, boomers. the boomers, the boomers, that they don't. They've forgotten what it's like to want things to change, to, to think that things can be better. But we'll show them. But to have to listen to people like Carver to do it. I don't know, it just feels wrong. There are no easy wars. And I agree with you, nobody does want that. No good people want that. He was right about something though, about how it's called a truce right now, but everyone's just preparing for the next thing. You don't have to listen to him, but he can give information and then you get to choose what you want to do with it. All of us can. Yeah. Our destinies are what we make of him. And I'm here in an official capacity as the figurehead of the revolution to extend full rights to Thin bloods. Not that you really needed our permission to begin with. Well, as the leader of the Thin Bloods, I guess. It's helpful. Thank you. I just. I don't think I have much of a choice. I know that in theory you say we can forge our own paths, create our own destiny, but. Can we really? I mean, none of us chose this. What kind of destiny is that? We can't really. I don't know. I have a lot to think about and a lot of glass to clean up. <laughs> so I'm the build of Victor. 
and let's stay in touch, okay? Yeah. It's scary, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to figure this out and on I... our own, but, but we don't have to be alone. We're in it together. Speaking Couple of, of questions. To exchange contact information. Yeah. Way to reach each other. Yeah. Do I presume correctly that you all use cell phones? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, is that the method that you are going to choose to exchange, so that you can call or text each other? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Maybe WhatsApp. It's yeah. Accepted. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any special instructions to your staff as they clean up the mess and uh, prepare an accounting to be sent to? What was it, Mr. Was it Temple, Victor Temple, you want us to send this yes. to? Yes, send the bill to sure Victor thing. Temple yeah. uh, at the Maharani. Oh, oh wow, the yeah, Maharani. Hey, can you get me in there? I absolutely can. That'd be great. So whatever the bill is, add another zero on it, and then send it off. Yeah, maybe you can get sharks in the tank. I'd, that's what <laughs> I've been saying since I opened this place. It's, A shark would be cool, it's right? the vibe. Right, it's the vibe. The staff begins to look around nervously at the tanks, trying to wonder if they could really keep a shark in here, and what would they feed it if they did? We'll figure it, it's... Yeah, okay, well, yeah. I'll, we'll, we'll take care of it, no Thank problem. You. We've almost cleaned up. The damage isn't that bad. Maybe, maybe, um, <clears throat> maybe two extra zeros? Two extra that, Would zeros. that be okay? That's, you know what? That's perfect. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And then once it's all cleaned up, just take the night off. See you guys tomorrow. We open tomorrow? We open tomorrow. Yeah. Everyone's still gonna be here. Hey, who is that asshole we had to throw out? <sighs> is he, he's, eight, he's, he's 86, right? Never again. Okay. Never again. No problem. But they're on the list. We they're heard. my personal guests. Okay. You let us know when you're ready and we'll get you to your car, Miss D. Thanks, guys. I just kind of wave them off. They leave you in peace. <sighs> hey, uh... I've been looking for this thin blood. Goes by Westbrook. Do you know him? Would I know him? Hmm. The name rings a bell. You've probably run across it here and there in Los Angeles. But it's not someone you know personally. Well, while they're talking, I'm going to step outside. Um, You're going to go outside the club? Yeah. All right. Leaving Kyoko to talk mm -hmm. with Delilah? Okay. You're looking for Aurora? Mm -hmm. She's not difficult to find. She's sitting on the trunk of a car, which is a long, low-slung, sleek, black, late-model sports car. A lot of power. <sighs> Have a seat. Sit down. So you want Carver? Very much. Not just for political reasons, but personal as well. I promise you, we have never met. But personal. Carver has done significant damage to my family in a number of different cities. Hmm. You will soon hear about what has been going on in Montreal and probably, um, probably Seattle, possibly Detroit. What information could you have for me that's important enough for me to give up a big ol' anarch leader? He doesn't seem to be much of a friend to you. Are you so politically aligned? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's the term, right? Hmm. I would Maybe. say, personally, Annabelle, that the enemy of my enemy is sometimes my friend. Sometimes. The Camarilla, of course, hears many things. And as the scourge, it is my sworn duty to carry out my employer's wishes. Did they tell you what a scourge does? Enforces. Well, no, wait, that's 
Mm. Mm. It is an ancient position. Again, old history. The position was once very common in cities. It fell out of practice until fairly recently. The Scourge is the enforcer, but oh. they have one special chief responsibility. They patrol the city, and when they find kindred who have not presented themselves to the prince, who are unannounced, who are unwelcome, they may apprehend those kindred and bring them to the court for judgment, or at their soul and personal discretion, they may execute them. Is Carver more of a bring to the prince situation or a situation? That depends on several things, including how I feel about it at the moment. Hmm, not promising. We are also charged with dealing with the Thin Bloods. The Thin Bloods are under our protection. That is unfortunate for you and them. Don't you see what they are? Late generation vampires? The curse or the gift of Cain, depending on your point of view, is so weak in them, they cannot sire others. Okay. You really don't understand. No. Has no one told you of Gehenna? Of the prophecy in the Book of Nod? Yeah. But you don't believe it? I, I mean, no, I don't, I don't. I see. What, what exactly are you trying to say? Like, why are you so afraid of them? Why are you... They are the most important kindred in the world. They could destroy us all. I can't let that happen. Not everybody's like you. What do you mean? You, you've all forgotten how to live for anybody but yourselves. That may be true. That woman in there, she lives for her people. I think the interesting thing is that you somehow believe that that is a virtue. When you have, I know you are tired of hearing this, but indulge me. When you have survived a century or two, you may not feel the same way. We do fight for things bigger than ourselves. The Camarilla protects us. The price of security can be high, yes. But the alternative, this chaos that you are so enamored of, it will only bring about our ruin. I wish you would meet Prince Vannevar and the Seneschal, Suzanne. I think you would find them very interesting and very wise. I'm sure I would find them interesting. Your friend, Yib, is with us. Yeah. Mm, you don't trust her either. We're your friends. I have a lot of friends. Where is the firebug? Ah, inside, wrapping up business. I can get you, Carver. There are things I know about Jasper Hartwood 
the Camarilla would like to know, but which I have chosen for reasons of my own to keep private for now. And if I give you Carver, it'll guarantee that you hang on to that information then. Is that your preference? Yeah. I don't necessarily trust that you'll hold to that. Ah, uh, if you but... will learn anything about my clan, about the La Sombra, you will understand that we will keep our word. Absolutely and to the last. For example, I have sworn, if my brother has come to some harm, to destroy those who did so. And I will keep my word to the last. But to the matter at hand, Carver, for Jasper's safety, you deliver Carver to me in a way that I can lay hands on him or lay shadows on him. And I will give you the choice. Either I will keep this information silent to myself and take it to my final death, or I give it to you to do with as you choose. Deal. We have a bargain. Before we finalize it, it would not be in my best interest for my employer to know about tonight. Of course not. I did not say any of these things. In fact, I was never here. Can we add that to my bill? I'll put it on the tab. Mm. Then we have a bargain. I give you my word to the last, but I will keep it. Two cold, undead hands shake on the deal. I will await the information you will need a way to reach me. I do not use your cell phones. What shall we say? Do you know how to contact Eeb? Yeah. Eeb okay. can reach me. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the club, the damage is cleaned up, furniture is put away, staff is clocking out. We done, Misty? Can we take you to your car? Just five more minutes. Well, all the time you need, we're here for you. Thank you. If you don't mind waiting outside. Wherever you like. They leave you and Kyoko alone in the club. It's fine. I don't want to keep you for much longer. I just, I was looking for this guy. Uh, I have something that belongs to him. Probably to all of you. I mean, I've only heard his name. I don't know where he is, but I'd be happy to take it. Can you just let me know if you hear of him? Yeah. If you see him, rather. I mean, is it something that's gonna help us in the long run? Is it something that I need to pass along to my people? Because if, if he's out there or if fucking old assholes killed him, then this could all be fruitless. Yeah. It's, it's this. Take out a piece of paper. Okay. Ah, uh, is that the paper? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do I show it to the camera? Sure. Mm. Nobody can know about this recipe. It is a recipe for thin blood alchemy. Written across the top of the paper, it says, wake juice. And with a note underneath, it says, wakes up any vamp in sleep. There's a long list of ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions for making it. I'll kind of like quickly like smash it out of your hands. Like, ah. 
How did you even? Give it to her. How did you get this? He gave it to me. Why? I don't even know. It's, <clears throat> that's why I'm trying to reconnect. It's, that's a big deal. It's a really big deal and I've held mm -hmm. onto it. My sisters that I trust dearly, I haven't even told them because I shouldn't have this at all. This is the longest night of my life, I swear. Okay. If there is a war, and it is coming, this is the type of shit that can catapult you into winning it. from your people. And I know this is probably gonna be a horrible idea, but I think as many people who know how to brew this should be able to. <sighs> how many people know that you have this? Just Westbrook and you and me. And that's gonna stay that way, okay? You have my word, that's why I'm giving it back. I shouldn't have it at all. Well, as much as I don't, like I said, I don't want a fucking war, but it looks like it's gonna be like that. And if Carver's right and we do have to organize, then knowing this is gonna be helpful, so. <sighs> yeah, girl, you a boss. I don't want to be. But you've proven it tonight. I trust you. I hope you trust us. I at least trust you and Annabelle, and that's it. Well, hit me up if you ever need anything. Same here. And I hope you guys come back for an actual fun night. <laughs> no <laughs> knife fights or brawls or... I mean, the fire was cool. You can keep the fire. It's a pretty cool party trick, but... Hopefully it's in a more fun capacity, roasting some marshmallows or something. Ah, fuck it, we can't eat marshmallows. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> I talked just like that at first, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is it getting easier? I don't think so. Great. I'm still struggling. But let's kick it sometime. Yeah, we can struggle together, right? Yeah. You got my contact info. I got yours. Watch Harry Potter sometime, yeah? Yeah. All right, well, get home safe, okay? You too. Let me know if you need help with cleanup ah, sometime. The guy's got it. All right. Peace. Have a good night. So, Delilah, an eventful night in your new club. Probably not quite the evening that you had planned. But you know more than when you started. You met some new people, new kindred, made some new friends, and maybe a few enemies. All in all, a fair balance. And you at last call it a night? Hmm? Do you at last call it a night? Yes, I head out to my car and head home. Kyoko, when you leave the club, it's easy to spot Annabelle sitting on the trunk of a beautiful black sports car. She's sitting next to Aurora. They seem to be chatting, not necessarily in a friendly way, but not argumentative either. Aurora looks up and acknowledges you as you approach Oh. All finished. Yeah. You know, you're rocking the whole, like, model on the car look, but she's kind of ruining it. <laughs> Can I escort you kindred anywhere? Or are you good, as they say? Oh, yeah, I drove. It's okay. Your car is great, but, you know, mm -hmm. got a 100% going yeah. with her. 
I thought as much. Thanks for the lore, though. Appreciate it. Hmm. You are welcome. Your clan was there, and so was yours. During this great congress of vampires, this convention. Many of your clan joined us. But not the usurpers. You stayed with the tower. Your numbers among ours were very few. Almost non-existent. Are you sure it isn't time to come back into the fold? I am definitely not even going to consider that right now. There's a lot that just happened. Maybe we can talk another time. Yes, another time. I look forward to it. I don't. I was kidding. I don't want to see you again. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Some night we will finish what we started in the labyrinth. I really want to know. I want to see the best you got. I don't know what that means. It sounds hot, but we're calling it a night. Mm, boom, ghosted. Let's go. Taking off? Mm-hmm. Mm. I get my shitty Honda and it takes a couple of tries to start and it mm. goes though. Aurora gets in her own vehicle and it pulls smoothly away. Uh, <sighs> I know that's not gonna be the last time I see her. No, no, she, she definitely sounded like you guys had unfinished business. We do. Honestly, I... I want answers, too, so... One step at a time. Yeah. Like said. <laughs> you know, if you just want to drop by for a chat sometime, it's like I told Delilah, we're all figuring this out right now. And... The two of you are great. In the short time that we've been around, I feel like we've figured enough shit out. We're adulting, like, for real, right? Right. You heard her. You heard Aurora trying to control me again. Control everyone. Yeah, who's... I mean, if you don't mind me asking, who's that guy you're talking about? You're about control, and you're okay? <sighs> yeah, uh, sorry, which guy? Uh, the thin blood guy. Oh, yeah, Westbrook. Um, actually, this day we're having, this day we had, where we really connected with each other, he was the last person I kind of felt that with when everybody else was trying to control me. He leveled with me, but it was, I lost him in the, in the chaos when we all fled San Diego. An eventful night for both of you as well. But like Delilah, some lessons learned, some bargains made, possibly with the devil. It's hard to know who to trust when everyone seems to be telling you what's beneficial for their agenda. But this is the world of darkness. And in the world of darkness, nothing is as it seems, and yet everything is connected. To what do we owe this rare and special invitation into the domain of Baron Isaac Abrams? What do you want, Isaac? Shut up. This is important, Victor. Sit down. I don't have a lot of time. Excuse me for being blunt.
Nell, you know what this is. I don't. It's time. It's time. Time for what? I'm leaving. It's time to go. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't get me wrong. I, but like going, when are you gonna be back? Like it's kind of a busy time right now. Victor, and I don't shut know. up. I don't know. I don't know if I will be back. I plan to. And my stuff better be here when I do. So I'm gonna leave it to the one person I trust more than anyone else. I got that in Italy. I never gave it to you. It was during the Milan situation. It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. It'll... All the kindred in my lineage, when they see you wear that, They'll know you're barren. I'm sorry, Victor. I can't. I can't. It's too strong. Yeah, I can't fight it any longer. I don't know why me. I don't know why me and not others who are older, and more powerful. I don't know. Help her. We'll take care of things till you get back. Uh, be careful, man. I don't think you'll be able to reach me. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I was born ready. <sighs> Only easy day was yesterday, right? Mm. Baron Nellie Griffith. Spread the word. I'll see you when I see you. We'll take care of it. Goodbye. Bye, Isaac. Well, you are not ready, but you will be soon. Thank you.